Hello, if you're new to the Yaesu FT710, perhaps I can help you get a little bit of a jump start here. To turn it on, depress the upper left button. That'll bring the radio to life. And uh, as a note, if you just tap that button once it started, it locks the VFO. So you can spin that and it won't uh, change frequency. So just kind of a neat little tip there. Well, when I ever approach a rig, I want to do about three things off the bat. I want to know how to switch bands, set an exact frequency, uh, select the proper mode, and how much power I want to use. So nice, uh, a nice thing on this rig is it has a dedicated band button. So we hit that band button, and then we can just use the uh, touch screen here to select whichever band we want. Uh, let's go back up here to, say, 20 meters, and there we are. So that's the band, and of course, like any radio, you move the VFO knob, and you can uh, select your exact frequency. To the lower right of the VFO knob is a fine or fast button. If we just tap it, uh, let me get out of the camera here. If we just tap it once, it goes into fine mode. That's really good for CW, to, for setting that exact frequency. And I tap it again, it goes off. Now, if I hold it for a second, that goes into fast mode, and now... I have a lot more authority when I move that VFO knob. And again, I just tap it to get it out of that mode. So that's basically how we set the band and the frequency. How do we select the mode? Well, there's a couple of ways. Notice we're in CW low here, or lower. If I t press that, I can select a mode that way. Or also, you probably can't see it right now because my camera's a little low, but on top of here, there's an actual mode button. I can select that. It does the very same thing. Okay, so... That's how I select the band, the frequency, the mode. How about power? Well, for that, we have to dive into the menu. This is real easy. You just press this function button here. And that brings up all these menu items. And now if I rotate the same knob that I just used to select it, I can select the parameter that I want to affect. So I'll go down here to RF power. And now I can press this button again. And when I rotate the knob, it now affects the power. Let's say we wanted to adjust something else. Uh, how about the monitor level? Okay, now monitor level is uh, is selected. And you can tell because right below here it says monitor level. So that means that whatever I move this knob will affect whatever's displayed there. So here's I can uh, I can affect the monitor level. I kind of keep mine parked in power, so I'm just going to go back to power there and see RF power, and I'm going to select say. 50 watts. There we go. All right, so that's how we select the band, the frequency, the mode, and the power level. Now, just a few other things here. Uh, lower right is our AF gain. You can hear that, and our RF sensitivity up there. Uh, let's see, a few buttons here. Let's, uh, to, exam to show this, let me go down and find a CW signal here. Okay, here we have a CW signal. One really cool thing about this is I can zero it in by hitting the zero button on the top here. So that zero beat at that signal right there. Really, really cool. Let's try another one. There we go. All right. Um, another button over is the split button. I can use that if I want to run split mode. Clarifier, that's uh, receive incremental tune. I can run that. I have a noise blanker up here. Down here, uh, memory to VFO. Here's where we switch the memory to VFO mode. We can toggle back and forth between memory. There we have a channel on the 60-meter uh, band. Hit back there to VFO. Uh, here we go, VFO A to VFO B. Okay, over here on the right, we have the quick memory bank. This is a really cool thing for storing things in a short-term memory. Let's say I'm working, I'm listening to a station here, but he's busy, but I think I might want to come back and talk to him later. I'll hold down the QMB, and that stores them in a quick memory bank. And in the meantime, let's go down here. Here's another guy. Let's say I want to talk to him later or listen to him a little bit. Oh, let's select a couple more here. Okay, there's another one. And, and let's say, oh, here's a nice open frequency. I want to remember that too, so I'm going to store that. I think by default it'll store like five of these. Now watch what happens after I stored these if I just tap them. There we go. That was the latest one. That was one before that. There's one before that. There's one before that. And I believe that's the original one. So it just cycles right through them. Uh, use it a few times. You'll probably get the hang of it. It's really a, a time saver. Okay, down here we can shift our filter to narrow. Uh, here we have digital noise reduction, which is exceptional on this rig. It's, uh, it's really a delight to use. And down here, can't probably see that too good, but to the lower left of the VFO knob is a uh, DSP reset. So if you get too deep into the DSP, you can hit that and reset. How do we get to DSP? Well, that's where if we just push this button down here, we can affect the shift, 
the width. If we want to use a notch filter, I can engage it or disengage it. Uh, and now that it's, let's say I engage it, here's where the, the frequency that I want to notch out is. Okay. Uh, contour. If I want to use the contour, I'll let you read up on that. So those are some really cool things. Uh, I hope you enjoy this radio. Also, uh, look at this. If I tap the meter here, I can select power out, uh, compressor, ALC, uh, VDD, ID, and SWR. So you can use that to, to display what you want when you're receiving and transmitting. Uh, the tuner, notice that we're, in, uh, we're using the tuner right now. If I want to retune, I just hold this button down here. Rat-a-tat-tat. Da, 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 da. Okay, there we're tuned. I hope that helps, and, uh, and enjoy this rig. It's one of the best I've ever owned. Thanks.